Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. May we invite you to join us in our prayers today. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the needs and intentions of the Greenbelt Chapel community, for all of us here present, and the members of our families, and also for those who have asked for our prayers, let us continue praying for all the victims of war, violence, and natural calamities. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant by the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation to Christ our Lord. Amen. Thou, O Lord, will open my lips. And my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us meditate on the five glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his good health, safety, and protection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of the church and the world, for wisdom and guidance for all church and government leaders, for their good governance and true conversion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now they are for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. 
Let us offer this mystery for the complete healing and recovery of all who are sick and for those who care for them, that they may find comfort and protection in their time of need. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. Let us offer this mystery for all our personal needs and intentions, and the needs and intentions of all the members of our families, relatives, loved ones, and friends, and for all those who have asked for our prayers, especially the intentions offered by the Greenbelt Chapel community. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, Please bring peace to our family, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Let us offer this mystery for all the souls in purgatory, especially the souls of our beloved dead relatives and friends, and those who died with no one to pray for them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up your sight. Mourning and weeping in this valley of tears, 
Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after these our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the reward of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. O Saint Joseph, O Sir Father of Jesus, most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, pray for us daily to the same Jesus, the Son of God, that we, being defended by the power of His grace and striving faithfully in life, may be crowned by Him at the hour of death. Amen. Amen. Divine Child Jesus, and at the name of the past, bless and protect us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Padre Pio Petrocina, pray for us. All the angels and saints, pray for us. Saint, Saint, Saint Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God of the King, we humbly pray. And do thou, friends of the heavenly host, by the power of God, Trust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirit who fall about the world, seeking the reign of souls. Amen. Please all stand for the domina to our mother of perpetual hell. Let's all kneel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. O 
while you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the suffering of your sons. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost cross us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intention of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, keep hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, Help us to avoid sin, which separate us from our Heavenly Father and from one another, full of trust in you. We place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always keep them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children, that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of the day. Give us all the sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a heaven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petition to our Mother Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother Perpetual Help, pray for us. That we may be faithful to the promises we meet at baptism. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageously witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God's peace speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in the moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. Strive to be true Christian by our loving concern 
for others. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishop, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at that to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for that us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Loving Mother, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you give us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank you, our Father, for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us in all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through her intercessions and especially to the Novena Inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love. To the most holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, who bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows, in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience, graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand.
Let us now pray the angels. Please all kneel. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made blessed. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen.
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. We are all invited to our Holy Week activities. Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion starting on March 23 at 4.30 and 6 p.m. Masses and all Masses on March 24, Sunday. The blessing of palms is done at the beginning of the Mass. Lenten recollection from March 25 to 27 after the 6 p.m. Mass. Our speakers are Monsignor Jerry Santos on March 25, Holy Monday. Father Dennis Paez, SDB, on March 26, Holy Tuesday. And Father Dave Concepcion on March 27, Holy Wednesday. Confession will also be made available while the recollection is ongoing. Evening Mass of the Lord's Supper on March 28, Monday, Thursday, at 5.30 in the evening. Vigil before the altar of repose will immediately follow until 12 midnight. Confession will also be made available from 1 p.m. to 12 midnight. And on March 29, Good Friday, we will have the following activities. Communal stations of the cross at 10 in the morning. Praying of the chaplet and first day of Novena to the Divine Mercy at 11 in the morning. Meditation on the seven last words of the Lord at 12 noon. And the celebration of the Lord's Passion and, ad and Adoration of the Cross at 3 in the afternoon. Easter Vigil on March 30, Black Saturday at 7 in the evening. Easter Sunday will follow our regular Sunday schedule of Masses. You are all invited to the liturgical Bible study, Father Francis Castillo, SDB, every Wednesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. And the book, It's All About Relationships, by our chaplain, Father Dave Concepcion, is now available again at the chapel's office. And so as we intensify our Lent and observance of almsgiving, we continually seek your support for the 476 poor parish, parishes under our Love of Parish program. After post-communion prayer, we will have a second collection for our Love of Parish program. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Greenville Chapel, Santo Nino de Paz. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is March 20, 2024, Wednesday, the fifth week of Lent. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Francis Gustillo, STB. Please stand, let's now join in singing our entrance song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our song at the entrance said, Never 
will I sin again? But every time we come to the Eucharist, we know we always sin. But that's not the purpose. The purpose is never will God abandon us. Forever. His mercy is for us. Knowing this, let us first ask good, the good Lord to somehow place in our hearts that appreciation for His great love and uh, be able to appreciate as well His mercy that has no end. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir in a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than the usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered, but he replied, I see four men unfettered and unheard, walking in the fire, and the fort looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. 
glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Together, blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth the truth will set you free. They answered him, we are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved for anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever. But a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will be truly free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. But I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. And Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You're doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have only one father, God. And Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. 
the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Probably up to this time, this gospel that we have heard, that I have proclaimed, has some, we could call it, hazy, cloudy understanding. Because Jesus speaks seemingly of a relationship that you and I, we have never experienced as deep as he is. He talks about his father. And most of the time, our relationships fall into this world, into this temporary time. And many times we even think that God acts like some of us, or even that he does not act the way we are surprised about certain actions. So, we have a kind of hazy, we have a kind of murky relationship with the Father. But Jesus is the Son. Iba po. Ibang iba ang kanyang experience of the Father. Because from the first chapter of the same gospel, chapter 8 na to, in the prologue that they say, chapter 8 verses 1 to 18, but specifically in verse 18, this Jesus or this word that has become flesh, no one has seen God. But this Jesus, beside God, he knows him because he has seen him. You experience that, we have to say that's unique and very specific of Jesus. So, how? How do we come to that similar, we could call it, relationship with the Father that Jesus had and up to now has? The answer is, believe in Jesus. Kasi, we have a relationship with Jesus. The Blessed Sacrament, the Eucharist, the crosses of life, the joys of our faith, the words in the Scripture. We have a possible avenue to have truly a deeper relationship with Jesus. And so, if we are close to Jesus, then we will be close to the Father. For the Father and I are one. Now, the difficulty to be close to Jesus is that when you become close to Him, you get close to the crucifix. You get close to the cross. How can you come close to Jesus and not experience the same pain, the same sufferings, which He took in obedience as a way of accepting the Father's will? Not my will, but yours be done. That's why St. Teresa of Avila, hindi of Kolkata, ha, said, yun ang mahirap sa'yo eh. Yung lumalapit sa'yo, dumadami ang kanilang kapighatian. The closer people get to you, the burdens of love becomes more on their shoulder. But that's the mystery of Christ. That's the mystery of love. That the Christ that is given to us entered through suffering. 
And that suffering is not, though painful, though difficult, it doesn't mean it is wrong. Especially when those sufferings belong to our state of life. There are sufferings between husband and wife. It's not all honeymoon stage. That's why it's only a stage. Diba? After the wedding ring, there are suffering. There are sufferings to be in the workplace. I think there is a suffering to be a Filipino in the kind of governmental system that we have. Just this morning, in meeting in a school system, I realized that the rice is already at 60 pesos and even above. Could you imagine about the poor? How they suffer more and more of hunger? But if you get close to Christ, you will share your rice. Ah, that's difficult. It's mine. I worked for it. But when you recognize Christ in the suffering people beside you, it so happens that Jesus brings them to you, closer to you, associates them with you, then you have a choice. And so, he says to the Jews, my truth will set you free. If you are afraid to lose, you are bound. Dami kan takot because you are afraid to lose. But if you have the joy of giving, of sharing, you will feel inside a joy. Two days ago, I had a visit of a person taking care of the foundation of Felicidad C. And she says, when this woman gets a report from somebody that the foundation has bequeathed, example, that this scholar is now taking care of two siblings with his job, ang sabi daw ni Felicidad, it feels good. More than the billions, probably, that the family has. The joy that one knows they have helped somebody to also share. You don't need to be billionaires. You don't have to be wealthy. It's the insight. It's that light of Christ that will push us to do something not usual but it will bring life. Makakagaan po ng loob sa nakararami pero kailangan po natin makilala tayo ni Jesus magpakilala tayo si Jesus at huwag tayong matakot sa losing of lessening in life because that's part of the reality of Christ. Kung siya ay muling nabuhay, glorious and risen Lord, dumaan sa biyernes santo. Nakatuwa po, ang Holy Week, Holy, sa Spanyol, Semana Santa. Sa Tagalog, mga mahal na araw. Araw ng pagmamahal na nakilala ng Pinoy na itong mga araw ito, hindi lang dahil si Jesus ang nagkaroon ng kapigatian, ay tawagin nating Santa, Semana Santa, Holy Week. Hindi. Na-recognize natin bakit ito naging kakaiba that's the meaning of holy. Bakit ito naging kakaiba? Iba kasi siya magmahal. 
at yun ang hamon. Yun ang hamon sa inyo. If you love those who love you, what difference is that? So, malalapit na po ang mga mahal na araw. Ilang hakbang na lang po. Semana Santa na. Sa ating pagdaan ng tinatawag nating koresma. Sa ating paglapit kay Jesus. Sa mga nakaraang 36 days na po. Tayo ba'y nalapit na sa kanyang pag-uugali, pag-iisip. Pananaw at lalo na sa kanyang gawa. Iba ka na ba? God is the limitless source of truth, of freedom, and of power. But we are limited in our minds, in spirit, in body. So we ask God to bring us and all persons to know Jesus so that what He intends to us, for us, may become fulfilled. Our response, Father, make us whole. Father, make us whole. That all who seek the truth may have their minds opened and freed by the message of Jesus and His Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That our devout practices this Lenten season may serve to free us from bondage to excessive self-concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That our involvement in the materialism of our day may not deter us in our quest for everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That the sick, the poor, the prisoners, the ignorant, and all those who suffer may find freedom from their life's burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us whole. That the Lord may unbind the faithful departed and let them go free in the kingdom of His glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, make make us whole. Gracious Father, your Son died that people might know and live according to the truth. So free us from our own narrow views, self-interests, so that our minds, our hearts may grow to be like yours. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray now, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name. 
for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given that we may offer to the honor of your name. Grant that these may become remedies for also our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, the authority that is Christ crucified. So then with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose Cardinal Advincula, our Archbishop, the clergy, all our lay leaders. Remember as well our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Confident in God's way of do, doing, and Jesus tell, tells us in his prayer, 
to abide and do it. So we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, be done on, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, <coughs> and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead yes. us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh yes, deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. So please look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her our own families and neighborhoods, this Christian community of the Greenbelt Chapel, our country, the peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, our God, who in this Eucharist offers himself for us. So blessed are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall yield. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. Also, please consume the host immediately after receiving them in front of the minister.
please kneel as we pray the prayer, St. Padre Pio Petrolcina. Together, stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it's getting late, and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that, I need you. It is getting late, and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus. In life, with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did, at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation, because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you, and I ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayer. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our hearts and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and serve God and each other. Thanks be to God. Bye.
Thank you, sisters and brothers, for coming to celebrate the Mass with us. May you all have a safe way home. Good evening.